what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video season two is here and it's actually I, I thought it was coming out at six but no it released around 40 15 minutes early and obviously i have seen a couple storyline cards i have not seen them all but i have seen a couple so today we will be looking over the level 15 storyline cards and i'll be giving my thoughts on each and every single one and which one i think is best to actually choose for your team i'll also be looking at the level 30 cards in a, in a different video on who to pick so let's start off with level 15 i want to kind of i want to make a short video i don't want to stretch this video out and be annoying so i want to make it short sweet and simple on who to choose so starting off we have tallow and i mean he looks like a good card he is in the serie a okay uh, well, I can see him getting in some, into some teams easily, and with him, he could be a box-to-box -box centre mid, or he could even be a CDM. That's the thing with him. You could even use him as a cam. I wouldn't recommend it, but with a shadow, he looks like a very, very fast CDM. He'll go to 98 pace and, like, 83 defending with a shadow. With a physical, he'll go, like... A 78 defending, 91 physical, and around 93 pace. I feel like with high, high work rates as well, he'll be a proper box-to-box -box midfielder. So if you're looking for a midfielder in the Serie A, it, it doesn't even matter what formation you play. A 4 triple 2 a 4 4 2 get the suit in your team because that's just real good. I mean, he looks like a banging card. If he was on the market, just think, what? how much would he go for? Personally, if he was on the market, I'd say he's easily... Easily 80 to 90k easily. I mean, it's unpredictable with his storyline SBC cards to predict how much they would be. But I mean, just look at uh, another pacey Serie A sentiment. I mean, there is none. That's what's special about this card. There is not going to be much sentiments in the Serie A with 88 pace, with 84 dribbling, with very good passing, and wow, I mean, incredible agility. I was just guessing by looking at his dribbling, his agility was good, but 91 agility is insane. 92 stamina. This, this is like the definition of a box-to-box -box card, lads. So, I feel like you could literally, like I said... With a shadow, play him as a CDM, or with an anchor even, yeah, go with an anchor, which will put him to like 90, or actually put him to 98 strength, anchors give plus 10, not plus 5 this year, so he will be jacked with strength, um, he'll get a nice defending boost, he'll be around 75 slide tackle and like 87 stand tackle, and he will also go to 93 pace, so he will literally be able to drop back so fast. This dude, with his high, high work rates, like I said, is insane. Free star, free star, yeah, it's not great, but hey, it's just a centre mid. It could be much worse. Four, okay, there's no player traits, which I mean, it's a little bit disappointing, but once again, as a centre mid, you do not really find too much centre mids with a lot of traits. For me... If you're rocking a Serie A squad, go with this dude. And what I'll always say with these cards is go for the card that actually best fits your team. But obviously, I'll be showing, I'll be telling you the best card I think, the, the card that I think is best for you. Or if you want to build a card around or a team around that card, I'll tell you which one I reckon is best. So, it's right mid spot. I was going to say centre back spot, but right mid spot. Wow. That's a strong link to Wang Hee Chan, boys. That is a strong link to Wang Hee Chan. If you got one to watch 77 Wang Hee Chan, this is a strong link. Wow, okay. Well, first of all, like I can notice the shooting and passing is a little bit low, but he is very similar stats to Wang Hee Chan, so you can get a hyperlink. If you have Wang Hee Chan in your team, then probably complete this dude, hands down, because he looks very meta, very fast. So, starting off 5'10 with medium, medium work rate. Preferred foot is right. 4 star, 4 star. Okay, we take that, boys. 4 star, 4 star. That is not bad whatsoever. Four attribute details. Oh man, he's rapid. 96 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 85 finishing. Although he's got really low shooting, he's got 85 finishing. He's right footed. He is right footed. He's got 71 shot power. So first of all, you'd want that shot power up. Uh, shot power. Finishing up if you want, 85 is already decent for a winger or a right mid, left mid, um, but you do really want that shot power up. As for passing, he's got 81 short passing, 85 crossing, and crossing is quite meta this year, so imagine crossing to Wang Hee Chan in the box. That would literally, that's game breaking, boys, that's game breaking. Long passing of 68 is not great, and as a right cam, as a cam in general, as a right mid, left mid, you do need passing. So 68 uh, long passing is not great, but still 81 short passing, I mean, it's a nice car looking at these stats. Probably looking at these stats straight away, I'll say use a dead eye. 
you will really want a passing boost. Um, but most importantly, I believe you get a shot power boost with a dead eye as well. So probably a dead eye is a best bet. If you don't get a shot power boost with a dead eye, then go with a sniper. But with a dead eye, you should 100% get a shot power boost. I'm not 100% sure, but I know you get a solid boost with a dead eye. His dribbling, 96 agility, 97 balance. This dude will turn like it's nothing, boys. If the ball's at his feet, he will literally turn like it's nothing. So that is another thing with this card. 86 dribbling 87 ball control yeah his composure of 74 is not brilliant it's still decent it's still decent um i saw someone on twitter saying it was like 57 which i mean thank god it's not 57 i do not know what they were smoking because obviously 74 is a lot different to 57 so 74 composure is not bad 80 stamina 68 strength and 64 aggression strength of 68 isn't actually that low I find that strength is massively noticeable when it's just under 50, like an Insigne, a Mertens, if you touch them, they go flying. But with cards that have relatively, like pushing on 70 strength, that is actually decent, especially for a right wing. You do not get the fastest of right wings, but strength anyway has never been an ideal card. You're not going to look at Neymar and be like, oh, you've got 36 strength, I'm not buying you. He's 1 million coins, boys, so of course you don't think of strength straight away. It's never been the most important key stat with players. Player. The 68 strength is relatively good. Player traits, he does not have player traits, man. We want to see a finesse shot trait, EA, a flare trait, something, but still, I feel like this is a very solid card. Personally, I'm not blown away because his shooting and passing has work to do and his composure isn't insane, insane, but with a dead eye, He'll, he'll stay at 91 pace, he'll go to roughly 83, 84 shooting, and he'll go to around 85, 86 passing, which I would say can do him if you have Wang Hee Chan, because you do get that strong link, and Wang Hee Chan is very, very hard to actually link. They're both in the Bundesliga, they're both from Korea, I believe. So get, one, get him if you have Wang Hee Chan and you're looking for a link easily. This is a good card. But I honestly, I'm, I'm, I honestly like Talo more. I honestly like Talo more just because as a box to box centre mid, he's got it all. Whereas as a right mid, I feel like you can get better cards in cheaper positions. Say Hazard, obviously, uh, this is free. But Hazard is like 40k. Hazard with a hunter, I'd say, is better than this card. And he's literally, yeah, only 40, 50k, which would save you a lot of time grinding this card. But that's my opinion. If he fits your team, complete him. He does look like a good card. Now the last one. I believe I have seen this. It's a centre back and he's pace here. It's all I know. Oh, hey, boys. What a card. Wow. What a card. What a card. 5'11, medium high work rates. So, what I'm saying straight away high defensive work rates, attribute details. 82 pace as a centre back. That's like an evolved version of Klosterman, boys. Wow. And oh, wow. Look at his agility and balance. This is a complete defender for me. I can't lie, this is a complete defender for me. Okay, well, starting off, 79 acceleration, 84 sprint speed is like very good for a center back, obviously. And with a shadow, he'll be going to 94, which without a doubt, use a shadow, boys. He'll be going to 90, 94, 92 pace. Dribbling, 75 agility and 86 balance. I know dribbling or agility and balance isn't always the key stat when you are looking at center backs. But for me, I like having a center back that may be a big tanky center back, say like Sol Campbell, Virgil van Dijk with like 40 balance, 50 agility, and you have them as your defensive center back, and then you can have another center back that kind of pushes up the pitch a little bit, that has maybe higher agility, higher balance, or is a little bit faster, like Opata, um, he had like 90 agility, 90 balance, he was a center back obviously, and he had like 90 pace with a shadow, I really like that with a center back, so for me, use him as a center back, and you can push up a little bit with him, have one center back that stays back, yes there's always a risk if you lose out on the ball, but with his high defensive work rates if you do get caught out he will drop back instantly for you which is just exceptional like i said his defending is already incredible and 91 aggression 94 strength wow okay so going into tackles with 91 aggression he will eat the attackers up if neymar's running at you that's no problem because adu will literally 91 aggression 94 strength that is incredible, man. This is like a complete centre-back. Obviously, no traits as a centre-back. Boys, this card is insane. And if he was on the market, he's like a Klosterman, but better. If, I mean, he's got similar stats to Klosterman, but in just in-game stats, better dribbling, better defending, better physical, around the same pace. 
literally, he's probably similar stats to Road to the Final Klosterman, who's like 300k. If this card was on the market, he's easily 200k plus, without a doubt. Without a doubt. It, I, I, boys, this card... So, you'll probably guess by my reaction what card I think's best, but what I'm going to say is you are watching this video on who to pick. First of all, whoever's in your team, whoever fits your team, pick them. If you've got a Bundesliga team, do not pick Tallo. He won't fit, will he? So, first of all, pick whoever fits your team. If you're running an Italian league team, pick Tallo. If you're running a Bundesliga team, pick him. If you're running a, uh, a Spanish league team, pick Ardu. But if you want to build a team around a card, and in my opinion, the best card out of this team is going to have to be Adu. Without a doubt, boys. He's from Ghana as well. He can get a link to Partey. He gets a strong link to Essien. If you really want to go big or you have a lot of coins, he gets a strong link to Essien. He does get a link to Thomas Partey, uh, whether it's Inform Partey, Normal Partey. Boys, this card is insane. He's, for me, the best card out of a lot. Like I said, pick a card that fits your team, but for me, boys, I do has to be the best option. He looks just phenomenal, boys. So let me know down below what you guys think. Remember, if you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It has been your boy Davis, and until next time.